Hi guys, I'm Shmi and good morning to you from Ignition Festival. So we're up in Glasgow in Scotland. This is the first time I've been to this event, but we've got plenty of supercars. The exhibition that you can see behind me, my GT8 is here. I'm gonna be driving it on the sort of street circuit that's set up as part of this event. But we've also got Formula One cars, rally cars, and tons of action through the day today. So I'm gonna take you along for the journey, what today is gonna to be like at Ignition up here. And we'll basically just see what's going on, have some fun with the GT8 and see plenty of awesome cars. So let's have a little look around and see what is here. Let us start off here where we have a whole bunch of different cars. Diablo SV, there's a Ford GT up there, an F12 just beyond that. This is the Tartan Tarmac car park. So we've got some unusual um, cars and this is or was a Ford Model T. It's a little bit different now. If we keep coming through though, we've got a Ferrari Super America, which is cool, 488. Jag XJ220, that's pretty awesome. Scuderia 911R. If you come outside, you've got all sort of drift cars, some monster drift cars over there. Basically, this is kind of everything. BAC Mono, BMW M4, you've got some sort of hot rods, some formula cars. You've got everything kind of in one place, all sorts of well, different kinds of cars going around together. And then uh, if I head back inside, we'll head over to where my car is. Here at the supercar grid then, we have an Aventador Roadster. We have a Mercedes AMG GTS in the beautiful solar beam yellow, a Maserati Quattroporte, a Martini 911 Turbo S, a Lexus LC500, McLaren 570S, a very nice Mercia Largo, and then my GT8 of course, which I have brought along to be part of in this event. And it's almost like the golf orange of my car goes with the orange striping that they have around the venue which is kind of neat. And there are a couple of other cars as well, but they've already headed on out, getting ready for the parade. Um, all the cars that will be doing that, which I'll be heading off for in a second. But then we've got a lot more to wander around and see here shortly. But I think first up, it's gonna be time to actually jump in the car, head outside and see parts of this show. So I'm also joined here today by Benzine Ben, who's gonna run off with the other camera and show you some of the action out on the track while I'm simultaneously getting in the GT8 and going for a drive. So this is all literally moving everywhere. Let's see how it goes. It's time to roll out. I'm in the car. Um, a couple of the cars going out just in front of me right now. So the events of the Roadster is kicking us off. Then the AFG GTS. Then I'm basically waiting until I get pointed. So I'm going to bring up the back of the supercar because that will be the last car to head out. The noisiest car to be at the back, although there are Formula One cars going around at this, which are going to be even noisier. But there are a lot of people here watching us all roll out, so it's just kind of fun. So time to go. So. Past the Jap Speed drift cars and the monster cars. Oh, we see an old Mini. Cool, cool. I get the moment now to drive past some of the F1 cars and racing cars that are here from all the different eras. And this is really quite cool, actually. Um, we'll come back and have a look, I think, later on. But nice stuff. <laughs> start the martini Porsche has gone out in front of me I get a little flag so out we go <laughs> first gear all the way make a lot of noise Glasgow and if I should go down and check out the McLaren Glasgow 
understand. It's a beautiful car from there. You can always pop down and see the showroom as well. There goes another Lamborghini. I like that. Lamborghinis were always one of my favourite ones, especially the Countach. The be most beautiful car ever. One of my favourite. A martini-backed Porsche makes its way in towards the live arena now. A lot of martini cars here this weekend. I'm about to see Porsche here get displayed. And then at the back, look at the Aston Martin. Aston Martin again, they won the GT E-Class at the one this year with our very own Johnny Adam as well. Remember that as a local Scott A little VT for you off the Ferrari because it's 70 years off the street. That's quite fun then, driving past the crowd, just making a decent amount of noise. I just love this thing and the sound it makes, honestly. I know I've said it an awful lot, but every time, it's just incredible. We've got another bit of crowd here past the chicane. So it's a sort of a show rather than a, uh, a racetrack, but we can put our foot down. And <laughs> just make a lot of noise and have a good bit of fun. And we head back in. So just a small little drive around, but fun anyway to uh, get the car moving and show some noise to some people. So we'll head back in now um, and have a little look, more of a look around the inside at the exhibition itself. We have a celebration of the 70 years of Ferrari, and this is quite a neat little room. Let's have a little look around. 430 Challenge, I spy an F50 back there. This is a 250 GTO recreation, so that's rebodied, but still just looks amazing. If we come through then, past the race car, over towards the other side, we have the F50, which really is just one of my favourite cars. That's looking awesome there. Sorry about the barriers. But behind that, 458 Spider. There's an Enzo over that side. We'll get there in a second. Uh, California T here. Uh, come through. Dino up there. And we've got the Ferrari Enzo gleaming under the lights. Keep whizzing around. Uh, we've got a 458 Speciale behind the pillar there. And the 488 GTB on this side. Um, in the nice yellow. Really cool colour. These cars are from Greypool, Edinburgh. But Speciale without a stripe is quite unusual, actually. In here, we have a couple of the car clubs. So Corvette right here, and that number plate, my 17 vet. That's really quite cool, actually. Uh, on the Stingray, a couple of the older cars as well. Then we've got some BMWs back there, M2, E46, M3, those kind of cars. And then if I come back this way, over towards the Porsche bit, we have this rather nice red Boxster Spider. This is quite neat, actually, a bit like the Cayman GT4 with the uh, 3.8 litre flat six from the Carrera S. Obviously, the unusual roof mechanism, but this is this is quite nice, actually, with the red interior highlights as well. That's cool, too. Uh, and then a couple of older models of Porsches as well. In the main exhibition hall, we've got all the manufacturers, the dealers, lots of race cars, and I'm going to get started right here with Audi, where we've got the R8 V10 Spider. Next to that, we've got the new RS5 Coupe. So I drove one of these at the press launch. Quite neat all round package. Then beyond that, the R8 V10 Plus. If I sort of give you a quick scan here, um, I can see an AMG GTS lurking, the headlights of it just down there. But we've got every kind of race car, rally car, formula car, single seat cars, everything in that respect. Squeezing through here, we've got Parks, which is McLaren, Bentley, and Maserati. So this 570S is looking good in this light blue with the orange touches, the calipers, the seat belts I can see, and that's that kind of center stripe on the seats as well. Beyond that, we have the 720S, and it's when you see the 720S next to a 570S is when it really sort of starts to stand out. They have literally just started now delivering customer cars, so the first launch editions are on their way to customers, and this is the very first 720S in Scotland, which is quite neat to see it here. And you know, the more I see these, the more I'm getting used to this carbon fiber headlight sort of opening for airflow, and I do think, especially on a light-colored car, the carbon does look quite good. This car clearly has a very high kind of upgrade package with all the different options and the glass roof panels as well, which is rather neat. So it really feels super airy inside. Then beyond the McLarens, you can see the Bentleys behind. There's a Focus RS over there. We've got the Maseratis here. Basically, all the sort of main companies you would think that you're going to see. Uh, I've just come over actually to Arbath, where we've got the uh, 124 there, the Arbath 124. BMW M2 M Performance. Oh, we've got an M4 GTS uh, DTM Champion Edition, which is pretty rare in the UK. There can only be a handful of these that you can see. So nice to have that one right there. 
And then on the other side, the little fun of our 124 Spider. Good uh, hoot to drive in that thing. It's time to gear up for the second run of the day. And for this one, I want to go and watch the show, which means it is time for Mr. Benzine Ben to take the key. Yes! It's mine now. Is that in safe place? Yeah. Well, it's yours, it's yours until you bring it back. In one piece. Yeah. Well, no. It's mine, whatever. <laughs> It doesn't mean you can go and like damage Incentive them. to smash it up. No, no, it doesn't work like that. Just be noisy, entertain people, okay. and bring it back safely. Best behaviour. Yeah. Not a problem. I'm watching. Okay. The camera's watching. We're watching. Fine, guys. <laughs> it's not Italy. No. Yeah, that's true. It's, well, about, it's about entertaining the crowd. Yeah, yeah. Having watched your run this morning, it's not like the highest speed well, circuit out there. It's, it's more a bit of a parade with some noise. So, yeah, and um, there's lots of that. Anyway, you enjoy. I'm going to go and spectate sure. and look after it. Oh, well. Best mate. <laughs> See you in a bit. On the way out then, we walk past the Aston Martin Edinburgh stand where we have another GT8. So two here, which is pretty unusual. This one's in at the white with the green halo scheme. So you have a couple of extra bits of colour on the lower splitter and the painted bit on the side as well as around the rear that my car doesn't have. I actually really like that colour scheme. And um, for what it's worth, by the way, guys, oh, also, by the way, this is the Vanquish S that I drove, but my GT8, after this show, is actually going to be going to the showroom with Aston Martin Enterprise. So if you want to see it, if you're up here in Scotland, it's going to be on display there till next weekend, till Saturday. So um, I will just confirm this on my social media pages, but it's going to be over there if you want to go check it out. Anyway, I need to keep walking, and we go past a Julia Quadrifoglio, big crowd around the AMG GTS, uh, lurking back there. I should make my way towards the outside. Oh, quick one. There is a uh, Maybach there, which is nice. A 600 Maybach, as we hear the noise of the AMG GTS on that side. And the S500, this is the Mercedes stand. Well, that is like ultimate in luxury and comfort, that thing. And uh, yeah, just surrounded by cars. Heritage GT40, that's cool. But different, all sorts of things here, literally. I mean, there's a Focus RS Mark II at the back there. Just keeping them coming through. We've got everything. Nolan Speed Industries, the uh, race chip guys here in the UK. See, I've done some stuff with race chip before. Uh, oh, there's a green Hurricane Spider lurking back there. An i8 next to that. We are about ready to go. Um, I don't know what the running order is. I think we might be at the back, but uh, I guess we'll wait and see. We are on our way, and as you might be able to see now, there's obviously been a little bit of rainfall around. So we have this group of cars ahead of us. Um, looks like we have some old school TVRs, and I don't know what this thing is, even if you can see it on camera, but that group's ahead of us. Uh, looks like we have a little wait, and I can't see the rest of my group behind me, which is a little bit worrying. Definitely in the right place, but um, things are running a little bit off schedule. Uh, so I might have a wait, but that's quite good because I need to let the car warm up a bit. Um, you know, we, we want to make some noise for the crowds, but you don't want to start your car up straight onto the track and start hammering the throttle. So nice little time to, to idle and just build a few revs up probably good for the car and um, good for my skin as well because if I give it back to Tim and it's broken yeah. right here we are we're in the queue then back of the group no pressure but it's time to treat these crowds to some glorious Aston Martin V8 uh, Lamborghini coming through, we've got the lovely Mercedes across here, the AMG GT, oh, lovely little pop there, that was a nice one, caught us off guard, that to Gordon, the AMG GT Mercedes, oh. she's hot, McLaren, McLaren Glasgow, oh, there's another one, there's another Martini, that's a Porsche, different kind of rain in the back of this. Now we paused for effect there, didn't we? We paused for effect because we know just how good Aston Martin can actually sound. The road surface 
this is incredibly slippy. Look at that. First gear and the back's coming out. This is definitely not the place to be a hero. But the noise is glorious. Just like that, it's over. That was fun. Very, very, very slippy. I was not trying to be quick at all, set any sort of pace, but you could just feel just how wet the ground is. Tarmac's probably pretty, pretty green, pretty dirty, but uh, that was a lot of fun. And Tim, I did well. The car's still in one piece. You know, I, th I think uh, I think I've earned a few brownie points there, boys. So there we go. That's the end of the run. We are back up in the supercar paddock. Uh, I've probably made a horrendous job of parking. Tim's going to be more critical of that than uh, the actual track driving, I think. Uh, from my point of view, I'm fairly parallel with the uh, Lamborghini, but I suck at parking in a straight line. Sorry, guys. But yeah, that's the end. I'm going to turn off the car. And um, yeah, that's the last I'm going to see of it for a little while, I think. I'm going to miss driving this. It's been fun for the last few days. But now uh, I need to go and find Tim. Ben is back and you assure me that the car is in one piece. As promised, yes. Okay, good stuff, good stuff. Can I have a key? Uh, if you must. Yeah, I do. I do. I'm keeping that one. There's a lot going on. And actually, it literally just started drizzling yeah. as you were going out. Yeah, as I was sort of waiting for the other drivers to get into their cars, I'm looking outside and it's just... <laughs> Great, just what I needed. <laughs> now it's um, now the weather's nice again. The Formula One yeah. cars are all gearing up to get set to go out. Um, all sorts of other things as well going on. You're going to head off very shortly. Yeah, I've got a train to catch. Indeed, and I'm going to see what's happening still. Uh, and that one went to Also got to drive at night or Well, the day's over. It's been an awful lot of fun. I'm going to take the GT8 out now. Unfortunately, only able to be here for the one day, but it's been great being part of the supercar grid, being able to drive the car, meet plenty of you guys here as well. So as always, another very fun event here at the Ignition Festival. So thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed the video. I'm glad Ben brought the car back in one piece. Do go follow him on Instagram as well. Link is down below. That's it for now though. I'll catch up with you again very soon. Cheers.